the liaison that does construction work and help around the house and so forth. She got my info off the website, I believe. Newport Beach. Yeah, I would say probably 5,000 square feet in the basement, below ground level. She's got a small collection of very good wine. As you can see, there's not a lot of space for storage in there. It's pretty much all a, you know, visual thing. Her main objective with this cellar would be to have a effect for guests. It's the focal point of the whole home, that's for sure. A whisper cool LRC system put on there that some contractor bought online and they hired some AC guy to do and it was just installed completely wrong. And it lasted about uh, a year right out of warranty. They had more problems with it than they could stand. So they called me in. They bought this LRC coil online and they actually built it into the cellar itself so that you couldn't service it. You couldn't even replace it because it was built into the structure. So anything that's mechanical has to be accessible and these guys failed to do so wanted to be able to walk by the cellar on their day-to-day -day activities and see what the temperature was without going inside. There's a thermostat and we put it on the outside of the cellar so every time they go walking by they can look over at the temperature of their cellar and make sure it's okay. We left it on the outside of the wall so it can be serviced, changed, maintained. This also has a Wi-Fi capability if they're anywhere on the planet and they have an internet connection, they can find out how their wine cellar's doing. That's okay. where the old thermostat was. The new thermostat is directly behind that. Okay, that's the supply, see that? Okay, that's the supply, that blows cold air. And then I'm gonna show you the return. We put the return down as low as possible. Just to keep them far apart as possible so the cold air is not just blowing straight in. The other one, the cold air is heavy so it falls to the ground. It just creates a nice loop, makes the room more of a convection type of cooling process. Then we use those same, those same holes over. We didn't try and cut the wood because that would have been too difficult. We kept it like that to make it look nice. You can call this an Arctic O. 050 ducted system. One half horsepower and it's a 134A system which is the refrigerant in which it operates which is the ozone friendly refrigerant. And this picture right here, okay, can you see the furnace there? Okay so this is the kind of room that designates the type of area in which this coil can be placed. Oh, well, these rooms have fire sprinklers and smoke detectors and all of that stuff. Of course, this is probably a two and a half million dollar home. So the, yeah, they have sprinklers and everything in there.